There's been a new leak regarding DMZ Call of Duty, and this time it's for Season 3. I was wondering what the devs were going to do with Season 3 because they uh, have already put out that we're not going to have a faction mission reset, um, which is great. But uh, I think the future of DMZ is looking bright and beautiful. If you're a big fan of DMZ, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe. We're getting close to 2,000 followers over here. And uh, if you want to join the club where I provide tips and tricks on DMZ, because I will be covering all Season 3 missions, content, and everything you're going to want to know uh, coming into Season 3. So uh, we have a lot to talk about, so buckle in. But first, let's talk about Season 2 Reloaded did not offer a lot of content. And Season 3, its launch date is April 12th at 9 a.m. Pacific. We're about a week out, depending on when you are watching this video. But the first leak that came from the data miners are, we're going to have a DMZ new boss. His name is going to be the Scavenger. There has been voice lines leaked, talking about that's not good enough. I don't care what you have. That's not a fair trade. So we're looking at a trade system and market system where we can similar to escape from tarkov where you go to your trader and you can trade items in almazra ashika island or building 21 with them and you can barter and buy uh, things from the scavenger you're also going to be able to fight the scavenger um, if you listen to the rumors and the leaks of what we're seeing it's a double-sided boss so it's a boss but it's also a scavenger um, who will trade with you or a trader, depending on how you want to classify it. Um, but yeah, so you'll in, and there's also been indications that if you do engage the boss and you shoot the boss, um, also known as the scavenger, that they will um, turn against you, obviously, because you're shooting them, but also you could probably kill them off the whole map as they're only going to be one. They will show up on the map as a playable, a non playable character or an NPC and you go and you barter with this character, you would not go to uh, buy stations. You would actually go visit the character on the map and have interactions and barter and, and trade with this character. And also the leaks are looking at, they're gonna be adding in a sandstorm event or system into Almazra. Um, as we know, they're, they're trying to make sure we have enough modes and content to use, but a sandstorm system for Almazra um, would be pretty interesting as that sweeps through uh, the map. And then as we also in the leaks have seen, there would be a night cycle system for Ashika Island, Almazra. Uh, obviously you're building 21, you're in a building, um, but uh, it would be night and day. So you have a night and day cycle system built in. Now let's talk about contracts. Barter contracts are coming to DMZ in season three. So you have barter contracts that are allowing you to build reputations with each faction. That's right. So you're going to be able to build your reputation and have kind of like a trust factor in a faction rep, you know, whether it be Legion or Black Mouse or um, whoever faction that you're loyal to, but you would build up those uh, reputation and you would be able to um, buy different items at a cheaper rate if you're buying from that faction's buy station. So you'll have multiple buy stations that are different factions throughout the map. And if you uh, don't have good faction rep with that faction, then things will cost higher or you won't be able to buy uh, anything at all from that buy station and you have to go to a buy station that has a faction um, you have a high rep score with. And they could put this in the missions as well, that if you um, need to get a, a certain a height level for your faction rep, to be able to complete missions and buy stuff from those stations. So faction rep is coming and a trust system. Now with this trust system, you're going to have faction ground soldiers that will be hostile to you and friendly to you. Now let that, let that sink in for a minute because we have never seen AI in DMZ that treats you like an ally and is helpful. So that will be, that is known to be coming for season three. Um, where you can uh, build up your faction and your rep and your trust and the AI will and then turn helping you versus hurting you. Now, if you tie this in with the leaks of um, 
more fluidity for movement in the character because they're looking at adjusting the mechanics of your actual character as well. DMC is definitely heading into a great place. They're giving us more to go after because I know as you're clearing out your missions and you're going into, you know, Legend 5 and all that Crown Mission 5s and you have nothing else to play for except for an insured slot, this will open up the whole new avenue of giving you more stuff in the mode to go after. And frankly, I'm a huge fan of this. I think it's a great move and a great way to expand on the universe and the possibility of their adding a new map that has also been leaked from the data miners of Los Almas coming to DMZ. So you'll be able to go to Building 21, uh, Mazra, Ashika Island, and Los Almas as well with Season 3 or Season 3 Reloaded. We're not sure, but that has definitely been uh, leaked in the Season 3 notes. And PvP has been really going crazy right now in uh, Season 2 of uh, DMZ. So I think this will give you more things to do and more content to go through. But let's recap on what we've seen so far from these leaks for season three. We're gonna have a new boss called the Scavenger. The voice lines have been leaked and he will be able to trade with you and he will be a killable character, but he'll be an NPC on the map that you'll have to visit. They are also adding in faction rep and a trust system. So you'll have barter contracts allowing you to build reputation with each faction as you're doing those contracts. So you can pick which faction you wanna build your rep with because that's gonna play into the faction buy stations, which rewards vary on your reputation with the faction. So, you know, if you have a high reputation and you're doing those contracts, you're gonna have better rewards um, with those. And then faction sites throughout the map and faction ground soldiers, which will be hostile and friendly to you so you're gonna have ai that'll be helping you and then you'll be ai uh, that will be um, hostile as well depending on which part of the map you're in and then possibly adding in the sandstorm to al mazra and then also possibly adding in night cycles with each map so you have daytime and you have nighttime depending on when you come in if you've been a tarkov player before you understand that they have night cycles with them and you can loot at night and you can go during the day just depends on what cycle you want to pick so a lot of good things coming for season three again if you're excited to see all this stuff and you're a huge dmz fan hit that like button so i know my dmc fans out there and hey we got season three coming up with a lot of content i will be putting out tips and tricks i'll be putting in how to's i will be making sure to help you all the way through season three with all your content so go ahead and hit that subscribe button if that sounds like it is for you otherwise i appreciate it guys and i will catch you in the next mission thanks